tomorrow is Memorial Day and it's a day we remember all of the people who have served in the armed forces and have protected our country. And unfortunately, some of those service members and veterans were lost to suicide. According to the VA's latest numbers, 553 veterans died by suicide in Florida in 2019. The state's veteran suicide rate was significantly higher than the national general population suicide rate. And Dr. Melinda Screws, the Chief Medical Officer of Jacksonville VA Outpatient Clinics, joins me now live via Zoom this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, good morning, and uh, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, this is indeed a time that we pause to remember all of our fallen who have served uh, for the past 250 years uh, to represent us and protect us and uh, and have fought for liberty. Uh, we are engaged in providing uh, services to all of our current veterans. And uh, as we know, Jacksonville is so welcoming to veterans and military family. And uh, we continue to grow our services here and to partner with uh, our community partners. Uh, so this Memorial Day, we won't be participating in uh, traditional ceremonies, but we have been uh, participating by laying wreaths and our executive health care director has videoed um, uh, remarks and we also have a veterans memory board that anyone can uh, come on and participate in post uh, videos and comments about uh, your loved ones, friends and families who have served in the military. Uh, and then we can all share that together. That is <laughs> that wonderful. is wonderful. And Dr. Sears, what kind of mental health services are offered by the VA? So we have a multitude of mental health services and um, our largest presence in Jacksonville is at the South Point Clinic and at the University Boulevard Clinic. Um, but we have military services, I mean, uh, mental health services in all of our VAs and um, also at the Veterans Center in uh, Jacksonville. And one thing I want to share is sometimes the hardest part is just getting the veteran into the VA and getting connected. And so on July the 18th, our Vet um, Center is going to host a um, basically like a family day and a car show at our Jefferson Street Clinic so that um, veterans and their families can come and interact with the VA and see the different services that we have. And we're hoping that that will tear down some of the barriers. Um, we're also building a new facility uh, in the northern part of Jacksonville on Herring Bay Road right off Max Leggett. And we're going to have a domiciliary and that way we'll have a place to house veterans temporarily while they go through treatment um, for whatever mental health or substance abuse disorders they have. And that gives them a point of stabilization. And then of course we have uh, our homeless veteran services and we continue to engage um, daily because we don't want any veteran without a home or without services. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And if and you have a loved one who is a veteran and is struggling with mental health, what can you do? What are some signs to look out for? And what can you do to initiate that call to make sure that they're getting in touch with someone that can help them? So um, any veteran or their family member can bring in their, their veterans or their caregivers or loved ones can uh, come into any clinic uh, without an appointment if they're having a mental health crisis and we're glad to engage them with mental health professionals there um, on the spot. And then if they need a higher level of care to help arrange that transfer of care, we also have the Veterans Crisis Line that's 24-7. Um, and then, uh, as I said, we have the Vet Center that has a multitude of mental health services. And then the other thing people really need to realize is that um, mental health illness and depression and post-traumatic stress disorder is a disease of the brain. And so as one of the, the awful outcomes is um, suicide. And so just like we have veterans who have heart disease who are having chest pain, um, when we have veterans who have mental health disease and they're starting to think that they don't want to wake up, they're disengaging with their family, or they're having thoughts um, and, and making plans to take their life, 
that's a 911 emergency. That um, go to the emergency room, treat it like you would a stroke, treat it like you would a heart attack, um, because suicidal thoughts are those warning signs that you get when your brain is not working well. And we can help people get through that and, and find a way ahead. And so I just tell people, don't be afraid to, to call 911 or go to the emergency room so you can get the care that you need. All right. Well, that is definitely important, being proactive. Thank you so much, Dr. Screws, for joining us this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it.